delivering therapy in line with the ventilator. When a ventilated patient presents with atelectasis or retained secretions, Byways Clear's high-frequency oscillation therapy can be integrated with the ventilator to help open and clear the patient's lungs. It is recommended to use a spring valve T adapter in line with the ventilator circuit proximal to the patient to minimize ventilation therapy and eruption while connecting Byways Clear's handset. The location of the spring valve T adapter depends on the type of ventilator circuit being used. If using a single limb circuit with leak valve, ensure the spring valve T adapter is placed between the patient interface and the leak valve. If using a single limb circuit with an exhalation valve, ensure the spring valve T adapter is placed prior to the patient interface. If using a dual limb circuit, ensure the spring valve T adapter is placed into the inspiratory limb prior to the bifurcated Y. To prepare for therapy, turn on the Byways Clear system. If possible, bring the patient into an upright position of 30 degrees. Insert the medication into the Aerogen Solo Nebulizer. Select Manual Mode and set the oscillation pressure to match the set peak inspiratory pressure on the ventilator. Next, press the Start icon at the bottom of the screen to activate manual therapy controls. Then select OS and NEB therapies. The therapy phase circles will illuminate to indicate that they are actively delivering therapy. Uncap the spring valve T adapter. Then insert the Byways Clear handset into the spring valve T adapter in the ventilator circuit. The ventilator may not accurately calculate volume due to the additional flow from Byways Clear, potentially resulting in inaccurate volume measurements and triggering volume alarms. The high frequency oscillations from Byways Clear will result in inaccurate respiratory rate measurements on the ventilator and may trigger rate alarms. Depending on the facility protocol, alarm thresholds may be adjusted or silenced as the patient is being closely monitored during therapy. Additionally, the high frequency oscillations generated by Byways Clear may cause the ventilator to interpret them as patient initiated breath, leading to autocycling. To prevent this, the breath trigger threshold may be increased or disabled temporarily for the duration of therapy. Byways Clear therapy can be adjusted in real time to increase or decrease the pressure or oscillation frequency. To adjust the therapy, perform a long press on the OS phase circle. A window will open where the pressure can be increased or decreased in real time by pressing the up or down arrows. Frequency can be adjusted by selecting low, medium, or high. Press the green check mark to save the therapy changes and return to the manual mode therapy screen. Suction secretions as necessary and stay with the patient throughout the therapy. A typical therapy is five to 10 minutes, but it may differ per prescription or facility protocol. As soon as therapy is complete, Remove the Byways Clear handset from the spring valve T adapter and close the adapter cap. Stop the Byways Clear therapy by pressing the pause button and then end now. Reset and revert the ventilator alarms and settings to their original values if any adjustments were made. Byways Clear therapy in line with the ventilator is typically performed two to six times daily or as prescribed by the physician or facility protocol. For more information about the Byways Clear system, visit our website at www.abmrc.com.